Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I just want to start out by saying that I know I have been kind of absent from YouTube the last couple of weeks and I haven't really uploaded anything. I am hopefully going to be having two videos up this week like normal or like I try to do. So I'm not going to get into detail about my schedule. I just wanted to let you guys know I'm aware. I'm sorry I've been absent. I'm back. And I really hope that you guys enjoy today's video because we are going to be trying a gel cast on my wavy hair for the first time. This intro is actually being filmed like almost a week later than when I actually did the demo and tried this. So you guys will be seeing me from the past a little bit. I just wanted to come on here, do a little intro and just kind of give you guys like my thoughts. Um, but first we are gonna jump into the demo. I'm gonna show you guys how I did it show you what my hair looks like afterwards and then I will give you guys like my thoughts and um, If this is something that I would do again before we get started Don't forget to subscribe down below if you have not already and give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it Also, don't forget to come join me on Instagram and Twitter They are linked in my description box down below and we'll just go ahead and get started with the demo Okay, so I just washed my hair like normal, um, shampoo, conditioner, I didn't do any extra product in my hair. Literally all that I have here is the gel that I'm using, which is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Moisturizing Twist and Lock Gel. Control sprays for a silky smooth hold. And this is what the packaging looks like. I know that not all of Cantu's products are like 100% clean um and perfect but these days i'm not super intense about that as long as it works with my hair and it doesn't have like harsh sulfates in it then i'm usually um not too picky i don't like to use um silicones and stuff like that on my hair all the time by any means um but every now and then it's not really that big of a deal to me i've heard some great things about this gel um, from other like curly and wavy haired girls. So I decided I would give it a try. This is super, super affordable. I found it on Amazon for like five, six bucks. And then the other thing that I have here is just a t-shirt, like a long sleeved soft t-shirt. And I'm gonna use this to tie my hair up in like a plopping method, um, just for a little bit to soak up like the excess moisture out of my hair. Right now, my hair is still really wet. All I've done is squeezed out as much water as I could. And like I said, didn't add any product and um, I'm just gonna go straight in and style it like this. So this is what the product looks like. It's just like a kind of like thick jelly-ish type product. It's definitely not like my Diva Curl gel that I've showed you guys. It's a lot more like thick and jelly-ish and it comes in a tub obviously instead of like a bottle. I do wanna say though really quickly, I know that I used the Diva Curl gel in my last wavy hair video and that was before I saw all of the videos about Diva Curl. Um, I've only watched a couple of them and I haven't really done any deep research into it, but that is the only Diva Curl product that I own. So like, I'm not super worried about it. I'll probably stop using it just to see what happens and what people say about this once everything's kind of been figured out. But moving on, I'm just gonna go straight in here and I'm gonna get like quite a bit of product to start. I'm gonna see how much we need to use then, but I do know that I'm gonna be probably using quite a bit anyways. So I'm gonna go straight in. I'm sorry, I know it's hard for you guys to see. I'm just doing like the praying hands method. My camera needs to be lowered a little bit. Wow, this is definitely like a thicker, more heavy gel than I'm used to. And I know you're supposed to apply like a lot and then you let it create that cast. So I'm just gonna do like a little bit more and I'm gonna get it from the lid so it's not quite as much. And I'm gonna go over it one more time and I'm gonna be out of frame so I'm just gonna probably cut this part out. But I can't lower my camera stand right now without getting gel all over it, so. <laughs> this is what my hair looks like still very wet so I'm gonna go wash my hands and then I will come back and just like lightly tie it up in the t-shirt okay so I'm back you guys can't really see me very well but my hair is already feeling a little stiff but it's still obviously very wet at the same time so here is my t-shirt that I'm gonna use I'm gonna lay this out like I traditionally would to plop and then I'm just gonna go straight in there. Hopefully you guys can see everything I'm doing and the camera is in focus. Okay, so 
going that down really low so that I'm in frame. And I'm just kind of like making sure everything's gonna stay on top of my head. I know I look so crazy right now, so excuse that, but this is when it, how it looks when it's like plopped. It looks crazy, like I said, but as long as the hair is in that like form and it's not like all messed up in there, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit just to soak up some of that moisture so it's not like sopping wet. And then I will take it down after about 15 minutes or so and um, let it air dry the rest of the way. And I'll show you guys how it looks um, when I come back to scrunch out the crunch, as they say. Okay guys, so I'm back. I was gonna do a little bit of a check-in um, before my hair was completely dry, but kinda didn't happen. And I know that it looks like my hair is still really wet right now, but that's literally just because of how stiff it is. Like my hair feels so crunchy and stiff. And that's just what a gel cast does. It makes your hair look like it's still wet even when it's dry because of how like stiff and crunchy it is. Um, I can feel a little bit of dampness still in the back of my hair, like all the way in the back, but that just takes so long to dry and I have to go to the gym in the next like 45 minutes to half an hour or so. So I am gonna scrunch everything out now because I don't think it'll really make a difference if there's like just a little bit of dampness at the top of my head in the back. They say it takes a while to scrunch out everything because there's so much product and it's so crispy, which yes, there was definitely so much product in my hair right now. If you can see like my hair is just like so stiff. But I'm just gonna go ahead and start like scrunching. Oh, this feels so weird, but kind of cool. never seen my hair this like frizzless and it still has like a lot of volume and bounce to it it's not like weighed down at all like the crunchiness is definitely leaving and it's like super soft I'm gonna flip my hair over now so I might be out of frame and just like scrunch a little bit I've done like most of the scrunching I think I've got pretty much all of it out and my hair still looks like a little bit like shiny to where it almost looks damp but it's like pretty much completely dry except for that spot in the back here and it feels soft which is weird because it was so crunchy a little bit ago this is what it looks like All right guys, so I just wanted to share my thoughts with you. And I have to say, it was definitely smoother, I feel like, like I mentioned in the demo, and just more frizz free. Also, the other thing that I noticed was the kind of like bigger loops. I had more like big clumps of waves that almost looked a little bit more styled, like with heat versus natural, just because it looked a little less messy and a little more like I don't know how to describe it, a little more defined, I guess. I will say once I slept on my hair or like put it up, it wasn't as like defined or um, fluffy, I guess. I kind of just experienced what I normally do once I sleep on my waves. Um, they just kind of die down a little bit. So I kind of have to put in some more work the next day and then they never end up looking quite as good as the first day. I do have a video on my channel that I did recently of how to like refresh your second or third day um, waves or curls. So I will leave that linked in a card if you guys want to check it out um, up above here in the corner So I feel like you can kind of revive it But it still does the same thing kind of as my hair does when I style it like regularly The only thing that is a little frustrating about it is how much gel you have to put in to get that crunch And so then you have so much product in your hair that if you touch it at all you just have that residue on your hands. It's not anything like sticky or gross to the touch. It's just if you're like touching your hair a lot, which is something I have a habit of, which I need to stop. So maybe that will help. And that might actually be a good thing in that sense that it will keep me from touching my hair so much. But it is a little bit annoying, I have to say. So it just kind of depends on if that's something that bothers you or not. Um, obviously, like I said, it doesn't look like your hair is like crunchy, it actually looks very soft, especially the first day, like it looks very bouncy and soft, um, even though before you scrunch out that crunch, it does look very like intense amount of product. Um, you just have to get it all out when you're scrunching and then it looks amazing, it's just the touch that's kind of annoying. So yeah, 
enough rambling. This is definitely something that I would try again. I would definitely do this sometimes. I don't know that I would do it every single time I style my hair just because of the amount of product that is in your hair. But if I'm really wanting my waves to look really nice for like um, an evening or just a day out, whatever, um, I feel like the first day they do look really good and that's something that I really like about it. I also like that I feel like you can sleep in your crunch, then scrunch it out the next day. That's something I did last night actually. I slept in my crunch and then I scrunched it out today, which it doesn't look the same obviously as in the demo. It's not going to look as fluffy and voluminous and soft, but I still feel like it does kind of hold that frizz-free defined look that I'm going for with this method. Sometimes I do just want my hair to look more voluminous, even if it is a little frizzy. I just like that volume and like that messy look, but sometimes I do want more defined frizz-free waves. So it really just depends um, on your preference or what you're feeling that day, which is kind of what I go by. So yeah, this video is getting really long, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on this method. If you have tried it, if you would try it, and let me know what hair type you have. I always love to hear what kind of hair types um, you guys have in my wavy or curly hair videos just because it's really interesting to me, especially when people say they have like the same hair texture and type as me and that like their hair looks just like mine. It's just a way that we can all like relate, I guess. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe down below. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.